think of anything. Oh, look, it's balls. So <laughs> many balls. <laughs> Guardian ball. Anger balls. <laughs> <laughs> and look how skinny he is. Look how tall and skinny he is. He does not look like a satisfying opponent. This is the Tyos, and welcome back after all this while to Golden Sun to the Lost Age. I have with me Magapium 239. Buenos dias. <laughs> and the usual co host, Knucklehead Tori. That would be me. Indeed. After our hiatus of this game, we finally we finally come back here. Off screen, I've uh, there was some weird things, and I had to start all over again. The game from scratch. That seem it feels like that's a reoccurrence, you know. Yeah. Like that seems to happen a lot of us restarting, and then we have to. Do it again, but hey, we had some interesting results. Um, and you know, yep. in the end. Yep, I equipped Ron with the Dark Sword, the Thunder Crown, and Terror Sealed. Seeing as though he's like more of the dark darkness type character. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Darkness. And, I... and since he has the cleric's ring, he's able to freely use the dark powers of darkness without having to deal with the side effects. Oh, without being cursed. Always good. Yes. Always good. For Aang, he has the Masamune, the crown of glory, the latest bracelet, feather robe, and quick boots. Nice. As well as, like, the stuff from Golden Sun 1. Always good. Always, always, always good. And he has the Golden Shirt after we ha after we fought against the the, the peoples. I, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, the gladiators. Yeah, from the Colosso. Yeah, Colosso. because they're like, they thought we cheated. <laughs> well, specifically Isaac's team cheated, but... Oh, I know you are. You're on Treasure Island. Yep, we are doing a side mission to get a new summon. Right. <laughs> and we already fought against uh, the. I, I forgot the other guy. The the. Um, oh wait, Dead Beard's friends. <laughs> I remember. Oh, yes, I remember that. I remember vividly to this day. And so I'm sure you do. That dead beard had his friends. And we just killed one of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure they were very happy about that, but you know. <laughs> I also, I love the fact that in, in the last episode of uh, of uh, uh, Would You Rather we named the feathery salt as real. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty clever actually. Yeah, I hope this uh, fan fiction writer named, n named named that story. Really? Yep. 
I mean, it was a, uh, it was random, but I mean, I came up with I came up with that title. Hey, if the shoe fits, <laughs> right? It does. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a that's a same I have not used in years, you know. <laughs> it is it, it's true. I haven't used that one in years. Amazing. It is amazing. Oh wait a minute. Wrong. Oh man, I miss playing this game in general. So <laughs> I've been doing a lot of stuff recently for other people, like voicing. Yeah, weren't you uh? Were you voice acting with the uh, Happy Slap Comedies channel? Yes. Um, apparently, he just put a preview up for the uh, filler episode for his Link Versus. I've done stuff for Hurricane, although I haven't heard from him in a while, so it's I'm like wondering what's up with him. But but Sleeping Dogs Live, right? Well, eh. They usually just snore. They don't usually say anything, much less lie. No, not lying. <laughs> <laughs> and in that chest, I got an iris robe. It's it raises luck while restoring the power and powers. Yay! Ooh, that sounds pretty good. And the people Very that good. can equip it are Aang, Zelda, Kyrie, and Hylia. Oh, Hylia is cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> It's weird. Pink that's eyes are a real name. But her real name's idea. Sheba, but uh, yeah. yeah, we named her. We renamed her Hylia because she all, she actually almost looks like her. Oh yeah, I think I've seen pictures from the Zelda games of that goddess. If you change the details just slightly, yes. Yeah, but that's not too much of a problem now, is it? Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna have Kyrie wear it because her defense is crap. Alrighty, let's. Ah, uh, dang. Why do they always target Aang? Maybe because they can because sense weakness? Because he's the weakest link. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what happens. Oh, Galloper! <laughs> Now I'm thinking on Big State Night, or just the Fate series. <laughs> nah. For those who actually know that what that is. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, dang Nabbit, did I smooth? Dang Nabbit, shit! What? Sorry, it's this thing I'm working on. I just remembered, I have a back button. To correct all my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> And don't tell me you with Microsoft Excel. Yeah, Excel is... If you want something that works better than Excel, use Microsoft... Uh, not Microsoft, use Google Sheets. It, 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 Google Sheets is better. No, it's just the app I made by app stuff. But the thing is that I, I know how to use Excel, actually. I was trained to use it, actually. The really? Like, professionally? Microsoft. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it was for a job training program at this one place I went to, and the, the material they teach you in the classroom is, by the way, college material because I recognize the Microsoft Suite textbook from when I went to a community college. Cool. I took an IT class. So that's how I know. I, yeah, that's cool, because I had to teach myself everything about Excel for my classes, and... Mm -hmm. uh, and stuff, and I I still only know the basics. I wish that they had had like a class, you know, Microsoft Excel for dummies, so to say. One of the good things about the training program I went to, um, went to, and I did the classroom. You go at your own pace. That's good. Because you're at your own computer, and you're reading through the textbooks, and you do the exercise, and you have the instructors there. So, you know, you print out your results when you're done, you show it to them, and they grade it for you. Cool. Yeah, it was very cool. I'll get the go this way. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's like a sticker. So, yeah, basically, I made this sheet originally for the license version, but I just. 
basically saved it as a definitive edition and just going around and fixing the stuff. And because I just noticed like certain requirements for like certain like upgrades don't have the same number of pieces are including one when I compare in the thing, so I'm like a little surprised by that. And we if we open that chest here, we get Firebrand, which unleashes Ooh. But it's not as powerful. It unleashes purgatory. Yep. <laughs> I mean, since we have better weapons, yeah. <laughs> Y'all can sell it though, right? Yeah, we can sell it for money. Yeah, good. Good. We can totally sell it. <laughs> I mean, yes. there's nothing stopping us for one thing. Yeah. Exactly. Even in this world of magic and monsters, the scourge of capitalism is ever present. <laughs> Like there's anything wrong with capitalism? <laughs> no, no, I'm just comic. I'm just mimicking what a lot of people tend to say. It's like okay, some that people get some people think that uh, capitalism is a bad thing, and then the only thing that they think, like, and then the immediate uh, thing that they go for is uh, they go for communism instead, which is even worse. But, uh, In all honesty, it's stupid. Yeah. I mean, capitalism is good, but then also you need government to make sure that nobody gets screwed over by it. So it's kind of like yeah. a balancing act. So. Mm -hmm. Checks and balances. Yeah. Set checks and balances that aren't just governmental, because that just makes the government bigger. If it's like a uh, private sector balances as well, then it works better. We got ourselves a new Pokemon! Yay! Yay! <laughs> it's, 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 it's cute! Is it Dorothy Gale? I always liked the Jupiter um, gens because I thought they were cute. Oh, they all look cute, actually. All the gen are cute. No! I want one. I wish it was a plushie. No, no one got on to that, apparently. What? Really? They make plushies of literally everything else. If they make, well, then again, I don't think this game was very well known. At the time? Well, yeah, but now, yeah. why don't they make plushies? Especially, like, the, the, the Earth Gin. Those are so cute and chubby. I want one of those. I would love a plushie of those. I know. <laughs> I am in disagreement with you. Yeah. The Mars Gin look like chickens. <laughs> yes, they do. They look like Raptorch. Oh, I thought the, the, Jup um, the Jupiter ones look more like chickens than anything. Let me take a look, see? They're both chickens, it's just one of them's a blue chicken. One of them, and also has wings. <laughs> chickens have wings, silly. <laughs> oh, yes, chickens have wings. <laughs> but the fire just do not have wings. <laughs> it's not your fault. I grew up in the boonies. <laughs> I know what chickens look like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's always good that more than one person, you know, during these, you know. <laughs> I totally love, makes it worthwhile. I love this. <laughs> the salt is I real. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> good. Good to have you. <laughs> <laughs> nothing could possibly go wrong with this setup. <laughs> yes, absolutely nothing. Unless I have to take a nap again. <laughs> hey, it's something about taking naps. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I just Can decide I... to take a nap in public, and then people will, like, give me weird looks, but I don't care because I'm supposed to be napping, but then I notice, and then I'm not asleep anymore. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Napping on this nice soft grass in the shade on such a wonderful sunny day. It's not like the day is made for napping or anything. It's beautiful out. It's supposed to be asleep. <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, like, I, I joke about this, by the way. And my, I don't know why, but like, I'm just like, um, I say that I don't believe in naps. The concept of naps, but I, because I don't really take naps for one thing, and that's why. Some people can take them, and some people can't. I think it's like, uh, I only learned because I, I spent like a long time getting like five hours of sleep every night, so I kind of had to compensate. I am the guardian of water. If you would claim my power, you must prove your worth. Oh no. And after you kill Deadbeard's 
and his fr and my friend, you will pay. I can't think of anything. Oh, look, it's balls! So <laughs> many balls! <laughs> Guardian ball, anger balls. <laughs> And look how skinny he is. Look how tall and skinny he is. He does not look like a satisfying opponent. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks more like a penis. <laughs> Way to take the subtlety out of it, baby. <laughs> okay, what you need to... I think you just heard all subtlety there was. <laughs> subtlety does not exist. <laughs> okay, and... Uh, okay, back... The, back to the game. <laughs> what we need to do first is, is... get rid of the balls! That way he'll be impotent. <laughs> we have to get rid of this <laughs> one. The tokens, for one thing, but it won't take, it'll take a while, so. Uh, well, let's get him out of the way, because they help boost their power. Yeah, he's got stamina with his the, balls. <laughs> this one causes a barrier, but that is a pain in the ass. Just like him, huh? Yes. And this heals him a lot. So the two we gotta get rid of are the blue and green one. Oh no, poor guy. I think he would thank us for getting rid of his blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is just terrible. I am an endless fountain of inappropriate jokes. <laughs> that was right there. <laughs> just like his balls! <laughs> okay, what I'm going to try to do is try to get my try to use my my Jin Daedalus to summon Daedalus cool but in order to do the, but in order to yeah. do that I have to <coughs> use three I have to use three earth Jin and four Mars Jin for that in the fight yeah oh, okay well I mean it takes turns but you know it's always good to use the Jin in battles especially for like boot, um, status boosts Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I use them very heavily whenever I play um, any Golden game. Well, yeah, like, what's the point of playing a game with magic in it if you don't use the magic all the time, right? Exactly. Especially to get rid of the blue balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to. Are I'm you really sorry. I'm compelled. I silly question. <laughs> Finally, I killed. I killed the green one. What's the question? I don't want to ask anymore. Oh man! <laughs> Just know that I make him very, very happy. <laughs> Our lives are wonderful. All right, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry. That's why I'm here. I'm here to make everyone as disgusted and delighted and uncomfortable as possible and uncomfortable yeah mostly uncomfortable that's how that's that's how i uh that's how i get the joy in life i have younger brothers so i spent my entire childhood being disgusted and uncomfortable i have to i have to unleash it on the world now i have to get rid of brothers you don't i don't have any brothers oh you don't know the pain all I have is sisters, and that's it. Oh, I don't, I don't have any sisters, but I do have brothers, and they're younger brothers, and they're kind of gross. You, you're not a middle boy, then, are you? No, 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 no. They're all younger than me. I'm the oldest. Good. You lucked out on that one. No, I did not. Mom blamed me for everything. Every I time we got into a fight, it was always my fault. And it was only half the time my fault. <laughs> I myself, I'm a middle court. So. Oh, so you got the short end of the stick in both ends, huh? More or less. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Although, that part is being made up later in life, so... Oh, yeah, you've got, uh... You've got the charm of the youngest and the, uh, self-assert... What's it? Uh, assertiveness of the eldest? I think it is? Well, I wish I was uh, assertive, <laughs> but I'm not as assertive as I would like, but I guess we could make do. Same here. Like, uh, Especially when I'm, um, I'm basically dealing with my nephew, so it helps. Aww, how old is he? He will be turning three in July. <gasps> oh, how cute! He shares a birthday him. with Harry I, Potter. I love to cuddle him. It's so He's cute. Just the cutest little thing. Now this summon Aww. is very useful. Uh, Why? 
are the bells so big? Because the reason why when this summon is used, it, it basically oh. regens your regenerates your health. Oh, every wait, turn. Kind of okay. And not only that, it revives those who have been knocked out. Whoa. Fully healed, by the way. It Holy shit. Everyone. It is pretty OP. It's right up there with Iris, in my opinion. Yeah. Healing is pretty much the only thing that separates these battles from real life, because in real life, after all these explosions smacking you in the face, you'd be dead after like three turns. That is true. Yeah. Now, for Daedalus. It his uh missile explodes on the third turn. <laughs> it's funny how it's missiles. You're like, where does come from? Like, I wonder how the people in Golden Sun, in the world of Wayard, basically, how do they view this? It's like, or especially specifically the adepts. How do they view these missiles? I'm like, what? <laughs> Maybe it's just. I like how I'm just questioning this now of all times. Maybe it's just like, uh, maybe they just oh. see it as like shooting balls. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, no! Like you see performing the missile, like you're, you're tr it's like introducing modern technology to those in the medieval times. Yeah, I guess that's true. Although, and so, like, and you're like, what? What is the sorcery? <laughs> well, I guess it's kind of like how, uh, whenever I read one of those, uh. Whenever I read the book of Revelations, it's always like the dude is trying to... Here's the missile! Yeah, exactly. Like, figure out what the hell is this sorcery, but if someone from modern times saw it, they would probably be like, oh yeah, that's an asteroid, or whatever. Yeah, basically that. It's yeah. It's like, you know how it's like. It's yeah, like... very confusing. <laughs> well, because they have nothing to compare it to, because how are you supposed to compare something you've never seen before that has not been invented yet to something you already that's available in your time? Yeah, well, the missile, I would just call everything phallic objects and be done with it, but that's <laughs> That's lazy. Yes, it is, but it's also very funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Hi, kitty. Oh, crap. Ron's, oh, on. Ron's dead. Ron. No. no. You will be missed. The most useless of the Harry Potter trio. <laughs> <laughs> it was my idea to name that, actually. Well... As a person who basically is a real-life Hermione, uh, I take offense at the fact that they uh, made her romance him, so thank you for killing him off. Three, two, yay! Ron is back! I never saw a problem with that. Well, there's not a problem with it, it's just that if I was Hermione, I would have gone for Harry in a heartbeat. So, I, oh, I don't no, know. No! I don't understand why she likes him. No. Yeah, it's like for the big stand for the first, um, the first movie. Like you know how it's the part where there it's the double snare. Oh yeah. And Ron's the one panicking, and Hermione's the one that remembered that. Oh, sunlight, basically. That was actually Ron that remembered the sunlight thing, and Hermione was the one panicking. Damn, I I haven't read the books in like ten years. I don't remember. <laughs> I still remember that, actually, surprisingly. But he was the one who remembered that. Oh, yeah, Ron's, like, clever and stuff. It's just that I can't get over the fact that he abandoned them in Book 7. And if I was Hermione, I would never have gotten over that. That's just Hello? me, though. Well, it just shows the show it wasn't the same about Ron, so he was needed. True, he was necessary. I think they should just be a threesome. <laughs> I mean, either way, someone would have been left out, so OT3 for the win, I guess. But, but then, Ron would not be, you know, brother-in-laws with Harry. Well, if they're in a relationship, they wouldn't need to be brother-in-law. They'd all three be married. Why did you have to go this far? Because I want to. <sighs> There's a 
is what I put up with. I'm not, right you, I'm not usually on these videos. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, this is my life. <laughs> this is what I call a tough day. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is what he has to put up with, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, 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 cat? Why are you a cat? <laughs> I know, why do you have to trust me with my affection? And then, like, I want you want to be on my lap, and then I put you on my lap, and you just jump off. Give <laughs> <laughs> me this signal, dear kitty. <laughs> Is your cat being a dick? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's, she's being a brat. Oh, I wish I had a cat. I love, I love her, though. Oh. <laughs> Is she like a normal short hair, or is she like a specific breed? No, yeah, she's normal short hair. She's a very generic looking kitty. Oh, how cute! Like, I don't like how they like they breed them to look such a specific way. Cause it's like cats are adorable anyway. Stop trying to make them all purple or whatever. It's stop that. Purple? Or what? You said purple. How does that work? Well, there's. Apparently a color called lavender, because you know how like there's a breed called the Russian blue that's like a bluish gray color. Oh yeah, I, I love yeah. I love and then there's a that. there's a lighter tint of that that's kind of purplish. It's called lavender, and mm -hmm. like uh, some of the like it's a pretty rare cat color, but it's like uh, it's actually kind of purplish, and it's really weird because they they can come in all sorts of colors. They are pretty. It's just like, stop inbreeding them for the sake of looking pretty. Like that's not good. Well, um, there's also hairless cats. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love those. I mean, they're not exactly hairless. There is a bit of like fuzz to them, but they're it's just it's so tiny. They're ugly it's cute. So short. <sighs> yeah, and that they're actually it's 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 very weird, but it's like it's not a bad weird. Yeah, they're like the ghouls from Fallout. They got personality. I don't think that's a very good comparison, but okay. Well, not the feral ones. The the sentient ones. Like, there's this, uh... You know Fallout 4? The ghoul character from that one is like... Oh, Hancock. Yeah, everyone thinks he's like the sexiest thing to ever walk the earth, so... I always I compare see. hairless cats to that. <laughs> I don't see it, really. I don't see it. You don't? It. But he's got the... He's, he's got the swagger! He's got the swagger! It's because he's, it, the swagger comes from being a stoner. No, no, wait, that, no, the swagger comes from the fact that he just murders people he doesn't like. But he only doesn't like the dicks, so he just murders them and that's what's sexy. That's oh, another oh. phallic object coming in for a landing! Uh, His balls are disappearing! He's overwhelmed with penis envy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If it's a girl, then it even makes more sense that they have penis envy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're no, not. It wouldn't be a magnet opus or anything else because that's like your final swan song or something. Oh, another. I think magnum opus is just the best. Your uh, best. Penultimate. Is last? I, I don't remember. Uh, I, I never took Latin, but I only know it's Latin. Or, I took Latin something. in middle school, but I only remember the things that are important for scientific names. I wanted to take Latin. I, I think a lot of kids want to. It's just nobody thinks it's important anymore. Well, for one thing, it's probably because it's a dead language. Well, everybody uses it. Like, the scientific community, the, like, anything that needs to be named and that's, like, going to be used in every single language, they use Latin for it, which is dumb because, like, seriously, why can't you use Chinese or Japanese once in a while? Those are popular, too, but, uh, whatever. Well, the thing is, those speak, uh, well, the thing is, Latin is spoken, like, on a day-to-day -day basis. True. Like, Spanish or anything like that, so that's probably why it's considered a dead language. We use it for the scientific stuff because it sounds fancy. And he's True. dead! Woo! We did it! Yay, finally, the purple... The purple guy is put out of his misery. The purple wizard. His blue balls are gone. <laughs> <laughs>
And for the, the reward, what we get is Azul, which is the equivalent of Leviathan. Oh, wow, that's badass. In order to summon Azul, we have to spend four Mercury and three Venus to obtain it. Badass. Yeah, basically. <laughs> ah, it's true. It's true. It's all the truth. I will give you an example of what this summon is when we fight here, when we fight a monster. You guys are so cute. Oh my god, what the fuck are those? Ocean Whoa! dragons. Now observe. It's Lapras! Damn, that's cool. They're not dead? How did they not die from that? Well, these are water-based enemies. Oh, um, okay. Like, one good area, in my opinion, to level grind is, um... It was the Sanctum, the Inner Sanctum. An Animos? Animos, yes. I just had to remember which one that was. Hmm. It's been a it's been a long time since I played Golden Sun. Okay. Well, That's it, my no no one's faulting you. I've never played it ever. I'm just confused here. Totally I make stupid it. jokes because that's all I can do. It's a, it's a very good RPG game. Though my my main disappointment comes from the third one. Mm. Dark Dawn. Yeah, I've yeah. heard that that's the bad one. Well, it's the ending that's disappointing more than anything. Mm hmm. Because it's a cliffhanger. That's all I'll say about it. Oh. Well, that's stupid. It's the third one, right? Like, why would it be a cliffhanger it's, if it's the last one in the series? It's not. There, apparently, it was implied that there was going to be a sequel. Oh. Which, uh, obviously never happened. Aww. Yeah. It's and we're cool. still trying, and we're still waiting for the sequel to come. It's got blue balls, too. <laughs> you goober. Yes. That's why you love me. I mean, it was way too easy to make the joke. <laughs> why would you stop me? <laughs> because I'm having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I will stop with these references. <laughs> For everyone's sanity. <laughs> Oh man, oh, I. Japan. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like how, like, you, you may not know this because you've not played Golden Sun, but the world of Way Art is actually based on one of the. how our world was like during the Tectonic Plates. I think it was Pangea. Oh, right after Pangea split? Yep. Oh, yeah, because yeah. there we go. There's Africa and North South America. Uh, and a couple of oh, there's India, Eurasia, and Australia is where Aris Walk is. Mega Australia? That's pretty big. No, no. in real life, there's a place in Australia called Ayers Rock, and in this game, there's a place called Ayers Rock, but it's spelled like oh. Air as an air instead of the way. It's oh my God, life. that's the worst pun. That's mm -hmm. awful. I know, right? It's beautiful. It, it, it's just so well. <laughs> Yeah, like, if they just called it Uluru, and then no one would be any wiser. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the one blatant reference. There, there, there might be other ones that I'm not aware of. Like, oh, oh. Cyan. Oh, Sea of Time Island. Oh, maybe yeah. Easter Island? Because it's, or, and Christmas Island, and they're all named after times of the year, so. No, um, in, um, in the first game, you go to the place called Cyan. <laughs> oh! Shan. It's like and in I China. Like I thought it was like Siam, almost. Oh, Siam. Oh, Thailand. Thailand used to be called Siam before, I don't know, regime changes happened? Yeah. Ooh, this is cool. Yeah, it's like cave. We've, we've actually been to this cave before, Tori. Yeah, that's right. I don't remember this one. Well... You're new to this. Oh. It's been a long time. Maybe you require the teleport stone for this place. Yeah. Oh, cool. 
Go see, to get the goodies. See mm. this, uh, see this circle thing? Mm -hmm. You need to have the spell teleport to actually use the... To actually use the the cool. circle. Look, see? Oh, wow. That's pretty. It is. It's really cool looking. And the best part is, you can teleport anywhere in Wayard in this game. What's Wayard again? It's Wayard. Wayard, sorry. It's okay. What is that, though? That's the name of the, of this world's game. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's. I know, it may seem a little complex at first, but... Well, everything is just named funny. I'll get it eventually. Yeah. yeah. Or not, and I'll just keep making dick jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, at least you have something to fall back on. I do that all the time. It's very pleasant. <laughs> right, I think this is where you... I don't know if this is where you fight... This is probably where you fight Dula Hattie. <laughs> no, this is where we Dula. fight against the Sentinel. The Sentinel? Oh my gosh, the Sentinel. Didn't we try that one time and then we failed? Um, we haven't fought him yet. I, 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 I don't know why. I thought we tried to fight him and then we didn't do so well. No... I tried fighting against Dullahan and I failed miserably. Aww. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dullahan. Um, isn't Dullahan? Oh, Dullahan was in the catacombs in um. Animos. Yes. No, not. Yeah, it was Animos. I don't know why I was thinking the other place. I was thinking um, Madred. Madred. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. I forgot all these names. I just know it was like it was this place where this happened. <laughs> I remember. I know Kabombo. I remember Kabombo. Anyways, guys, this has been the Tios. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Golden Sun Two: The Lost Age. In the Remember next time? episode, in the next episode, we will tackle this, th this long hallway. <laughs> really, really long hallway. I don't know if we can take all of it. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Anyways. Laters! Oh, wait, I forgot. If you like my content, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, click on the link for a Patreon to become a patron. Yes, give him money. Yes, as well as click on PayPal, and... Purchase my Gotham's books. Someone actually read one. Someone actually read one of my books. Like I got a read. I'm so happy. Thank you guys. I love you. Whoever it is, Aww. thank you. You made her very happy, guys. Yeah. You made me very happy. Oh, and go check out Tori's channel too. For her content. Yes. Yeah, I'm not Tori. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, later. Bye.